in terms of threats, continuing with threats, many, many threats that we've got to address, but the issue of code reuse. Um, where are you getting code from? Where are you getting your applications from? Um, and this is not just simply what applications are you buying, uh, but where are they getting their code from in, in these days of code reuse, object reuse, um, uh, software as a service in, in various ways. Um, the, uh, well, during the pandemic, of course, we have had uh, many discussions. People have become aware of many issues with regard to supply chains. And, and this is not just... Um, uh, a matter of uh, business continuity planning, uh, you know, where does your infrastructure, where does your support in, in various ways come from, but, um, you know, what, uh, what are you relying on? As we mentioned, the, you know, your trusted computing base, um, you know, where are your parts coming from? Where are your computers coming from? Where, well, where is your code coming from? Um, there, uh, a, a classic uh, paper in the field is uh, Reflections on Trusting Trust by uh, Ken Thompson. And, of course, you know, he's uh, talking about developing the... Uh, the C language and the Unix operating system and making the point, what happens if um, having made the, uh, the C language, the, the compiler for that contains code uh, that... Uh, you know, does does something untoward, but also every time you write a compiler for a new language using that original compile, well, you know, uh, using that original language means that um, if you do another version of the C programming language, or if you write another programming language, a compiler for a completely different language in C. Um, anything, anything, starting from that original compiler, uh, you know, at one point there was only one compiler for the C language, you know, the first one. That, so, you know, write it into that original compiler that any time you're compiling a programming language, you include this code that says any time you compile anything with this compiler, particularly a, a, another compiler for another language, you have this additional function that you put into it that says anytime you compile a new language with this compiler, um, you include this code. And, and uh, you know, you, you have a backdoor. You have, uh, you know, additional functions that you can put into that and, and make them, you know, generationally propagate uh, so, you know, what, whatever you want to put in there, whatever kind of function you have reporting to a, uh, given entity, um, you know, what it, whatever you want it to be, it's, it's in there. You know, you have to trust at some point, you know, the, the trusted computing base. Um, and that includes the code as well as the chips and the boards and, the, and so on and so forth. And of course, these days we have application programming interfaces that we are frequently doing. And what is an application programming interface? Well, in the same way that cloud is using somebody else's computer, an application programming interface is using somebody else's code. And if you don't have the actual code, if you're just using the interface, you don't know what that code is that you're using. So, uh, you know, where is your code coming from? What is the, the source of your code? Um, uh, so, is it, you know, commercial, off-the-shelf, the standard COTS uh, stuff? Um, is it open source? And we, we talked about open source. Um, and uh, 
in, in a sense, the sort of uh, generational propagation of licensing uh, through the use of that, depending on, on what the particular license is with regard to that. Uh, and closed source, which, you know, yes, uh, you, uh, well, number one, you know, does closed source mean you don't get to look at the code either? So you still don't know what the code is. You're just trusting this particular vendor. Uh, open source generally means you get the code. Uh, if you if you trust it, again, going back to reflections on trusting trust, you can have the code, the source code. Does that translate? Does that tell you absolutely everything in terms of the functions that are included in the compiled program? So... Um, Anyways, you know, all of these sorts of things. And, and of course, nowadays, uh, we've got the managed services, you know, whatever as a service, software as a service, uh, different types of functions as a service, infrastructure as a service, you know, uh, whatever uh, that may be. And, and all the code that goes into supporting that. Are we sure of what all of those uh, pieces of code are, are doing. 